Good evening, guys. Okay, um, we are doing the six pieces video that we talked about. Okay, remember the skate is called six pieces because everything you're going to do is going to be into six. You're going to cut it out. The back will be three, the front will be three. Instead of back being two and front being one, uh, one the way we used to do it on the normal skate, it's going to be back three pieces, then uh, front three pieces. And then because the back will have zipper on it, so the back will now be four. Because you know, you, normally after the, your skate, you divide it into two. That's why the back is usually two before. So right now, after getting it into three, the middle part of the back will be divided into into two so that would make back four then front three okay so in that case that means that every measurement you're going to be putting both your waist measurement your hip measurement your knee measurement is going to be divided into six it's going to be divided into six okay so the measurement i'm using today is waist 30 waist 32 32 divided by six we have 5.3 something but i approximated it to five Point five, okay then the hip i'm using is 38 38 divided into uh, divided by six is equals to 6.3 something again but i have 6.5 here okay so that is how we're going to use it and cut it into six the way we want so let's dive into it first of all i drew my line this first line i drew here i went in by 10 inches when i get to to this particular place you understand why i went in by 10 inches before i start my measurement so i went in by 10 inches then i drew a straight line where my measurement point will start this is my waist my waist point where it will be then this three line is my hip point this is seven inches this is eight inches and this is ten inches remember i explained to you guys why i need to put it like this either seven or six eight and ten so that you know that this particular place is where your hips will fall your hip will fall so if you even if it, your the person's hip did not fall on seven to fall on eight or it will fall on nine or it will fall on ten but it won't be more than ten that's why i do it this way all the time to have my perfect fitting and then i have my between my waist measurement to my um hip measurement i have seven eight and ten as i said and then your um new measurements where well, i will get my new measurements it depends please when you're measuring yourself um, your customer or yourself measure between your waist to your new so you'll be able to have the accurate measurement of your new measure new line so this is how i got the new line i have 20 then i drew the line then this last line here is the um the hem of the skirt like where it will be so it depends on your skate length that is will be your skate length okay so depends on how long you want your skate to be and your material that's how you use it so let's go in now the waist we come here and we impute <coughs> sorry 5.5 5.5 that's five and a half inches okay for our <coughs> sorry guys our waist then come to our hip, it puts six and a half. Six and a half here. Then depending on how you you want your the the fitting to come out, the fitting of a six pieces depends fully on the on the nail line how the how narrow the nail is is how flat it will come so it depends on who you're making it for if you're a type that can manage that tight um nail okay we'll still be able to move you and then you want the flat to be big that's then you can minus maybe two inches or two and a half inches from your hip to get your new measurement but it depends on who you're making it for if it's someone who always jump a um, bike and all that then i wouldn't advise maybe just remove one and a half or one inch or one inch from it okay so it depends on how you want how full you want it and how narrow you want it See, all those ones we used to see on in um magazine and television and that looks very nice it's just that their nail is actually very narrow so i'm going to minus two inches from here so i have six Point five, so minus two, so I will have four, four um, point five. Okay, so that's what I will use for my new line measurements. Four point five here. 
So then I'll connect. I'll connect with the dotted line first. Connect to the then I connect this. So this is it. Okay, let me without wasting time. Because my marker is this marker is already finished. Get a new one. Okay, so this is the measurement to the nail, to the hip, to the nail. Okay, so now this is where the main um, work on six pieces comes. That is where I have these two places. Okay, this is where the main work it comes. It depends on how your big your material is and then how flat you want it to to be. Okay. So, but some people can use eight inches, some people ten, some people twelve. It depends. But eight, you can't use less than eight inches because if you use less than eight inches, it will not work out. Okay. So, but here, because of the bottom paper that I have, I'm going to use like um, let me use thirteen inches less or fourteen. Let's make fourteen because I still have space here. But now it doesn't matter. It depends on your material. If your material Will not be able to get um use up to this then you reduce it to eight inches or to ten inches depend on your material and then it also depends on your preference okay you prefer it to be flayed very flayed or something that's that's how you're going to get it so you connect your ruler like this and join the line so you are joining this that line this 14 inches that I, I minus to to this to new line Okay. Well, wow. I just hope this marker can get to the end of this the turn here. Because this marker is already finished. Okay guys, but I hope you can see it. So see it's coming, it's it's out already. But remember, we don't need a sharp edge. We don't need a sharp edge here. Okay, there is no no part of woman body that is sharp, so that's why it cannot be sharp here. So you need to just blend it yourself. Huh, my marker. So you just blend it. Make sure you blend it that it's not sharp. You blend it before you turn. I'm sorry about this marker, guys. Okay, but we're done already. Then the next part is this part. I told you guys that when I get here, I will let you guys know how why i left here this place also supposed to be flat this is that middle part of your the front or the back okay if you leave only this place to be flat then it will look awkward at this side so that's why i have to go in by 10 inches or 11 inches or, or whatever inches okay so the same way you connected your nail uh, to the to this place as in the tri triangular form in the same way you are going to connect this side to in a triangular form I hope you're getting this thing very well. All right, so you place your ruler like this at the end edge of this place and at the edge of this place, like this. Place your ruler and draw your line. You will place your ruler and then we draw our line. Okay, guys, you see? Okay, we don't also need a sharp edge here, too. So you blend it. You blend it. Blend it like this. So you see how the skate is? This is how it's going to be. So the place that takes a lot of material is just this down part. And the way it is like this, you're going to get it into six. Now, this is the front part. You get this front part in three places again to be able to to use it okay so let's assume that this is the size the side part because of the way the leaf is curved and all that if you are doing the um remember i didn't add i didn't add allowance here okay so but at least one inch allowance or half inch allowance will be enough you just come here when you cut before you cut it you add your one inch allowance like this or half inch allowance you add it to this place 
onto this place. Then when it gets to this place, you draw your line again. So you're having a new line right now for for your allowance. So it, you are not going to use the initial line to cut your allowance. Okay. So this is how it is. You also either you add one one inch here and then one inch here, or maybe you add half inches here. Okay, you add half inch, half inches here at this end. So at the end of the day, you're having one and a half inches allowance for your sewing. And then you connect again. You connect it again to where it's supposed to be. So my pattern paper is not going to end, but it's empty. So this is it. So now, this is, if you're cutting, this is the line that you're going to cut. This place. Be the line you're going to cut. All right. So this is for the front. That means that when you're cutting your front, um, wow, this marker is already finished. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, let me not waste it on this. I hope you guys can see this dotted line. I wanted to straighten it. Okay. So this is for front. If you're cutting the middle let's assume that this is the side point because of this curve where will be on your hip then but when it's on the middle part where the hip is not the middle part the only thing is that this curve here you just straighten it you just straighten it it's the same the same measurement but make it don't make it curve make it a bit straight to the waist so there will be no no curve here that's just it okay then we are done you cut. once you cut it out you bring your pattern your pattern again or your your fabric and place this one on it again to get it this time you cut it into into three for front then for back the same thing into three now because of your zipper allowance once you have it like this for back because i'm not going to use another another um paper for the back so let's cut both back and front together okay so now you just come here this is your initial line after your after you place your allowance and get whatever you want to use as your as your zipper allowance if it's one inch you use one inch if it's two inches if it's one and a half so but let's use one inch okay you just come here and add your one inch allowance for your zipper okay just like this and then straight down again all right so all we need to do is you connect it connect the line so this will now be our initial line our line for the back for the back so this is the back the back piece sorry guys okay so this is back back this place is the zipper back zip zipper so let's just write it back zipper this is the zipper allowance and then from there you connect down to your fabric this um, my pattern paper is already not you know when you're doing it you're using a new pattern paper uh, a new your fabric is going to be different so that means all these ones will not be there to see this enough but see the way it is this is the back piece this, you don't need to add another allowance here on the back side because you already have your allowance um added on this place and that is it then you cut hold on guys let me get my okay all right so then all we need to do is to cut it off right now okay so we cut it off like this this is where we're going to start to cut it off When you get to this place, you go straight down. Okay. Then here. Okay, so let me cut. If it's the front one that you're cutting, you know that this is the line you're going to follow. This line like this, you cut it like this, cut it like this, down. Okay? But this, I'm cutting both the front and back together now, so it will be easy. So this is it, so that it will not be pieces. Then you cut it. You get here, you get down to, to, let's draw the line for this place so we don't make mistake. 
So let's assume that this is the line where the nail will start. So that is where you have to bend your hand. You're already there actually. So bend your hand like this. And then you get the down. See it guys. See the way it is. Then you cut your hem. Depending on the length of your this particular one you don't need a dart because joining it joining the six pieces is already that for you you know that is just for joining okay joining the six pieces okay i forgot that this is where we use as our waist so you cut it that means this place is supposed to be cut off on your initial measurements so this is what we we'll have you see guys this is it hope you're seeing it and it's done all you need to do is get another another fabric your main fabric once you i would advise if you're cutting six pieces to save your fabric first of all get a pattern paper or a pieces you're not going to use maybe a lining or the lining you're going to use for it and draft your first piece if you draft the first piece like this then it will now be easy for you to bring the main fabric you place it and cut it off and so it will save fabric for you okay it will save fabric for you and then uh, you will be able to remember guys another thing is that you notice that i did not fold my fabric i did not fold fabric into two as usual because this particular one is into one one so i'm not supposed to fold it into two so you don't need to fold it into two you use your first piece to get this since it's actually going to be into six places okay but if you now decide to fold it into two then that means that this measurement we got which is 6.5 you are not putting it on that means you're going to divide into it two because your fabric is folded into two. That means 6.5 divided by two is what you will get here, okay, to get your distance. But if you don't want to go into that distance, just use your whatever you get, add your allowance, and you get it. And this is it, okay? This is it, guys. Okay, guys, so this is it. See how it looks like fish? This is it. This is it. All right, guys. So we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you have any question, you know how you can ask it. Okay. Thank you.